All right, trim string is dead. Ground speed is about six knots. Pretty darn close to zero. All right, so I'm just going to lower collective a little bit, kind of simulate us getting into vortex ring state. There's 500 foot descent rate. There's our vibration. I'm coming up, right. Hey, we're going to get right back to that in-flight video real quick. But first, helicopter check ride and top 10 check ride tips. Both Amazon number one bestsellers. I have PDFs below in the description box. You can click them, download them, check them out. No cost. It's a PDF. Just wanted to let you know. Those are down below. So let's go back and do some flying with Hauser and uh, see how it comes out. Look at our power, full 92%. I'm controlling the descent rate. We're at zero. There's ground speed showing three dashes. We're completely at zero. All right, so I'm pulling about 98% power here because there's not a lot of wind. I can be in that, in the, in the G2, I can be in that yellow for five minutes as long as I'm under 30. All right, so I'm holding here. Now the traditional method, if we start sinking, we're gonna feel some of that vibration. We're gonna see the VSI come alive. We're gonna have little to no cyclic authority or even collective authority. As I lower the collective, kind of simulate us starting to sink here. I'm just gonna do what we call the traditional method and I'm gonna push forward. All right, so I'm pushing down, maintaining heading. There, we're getting some vibration. There's 500 foot descent rate. There's 600, there's 700, it's building. All right, so I need to recover here. There's almost a thousand. So I'm just gonna push the nose forward. It just nice and easy, nice and gentle, build that airspeed. There's my airspeed indicator coming alive. Now I'm gonna start coming up on my collective and we're gonna fly out of it. This method is great if you have altitude to play with, right? So right now I just lost 500 feet. I just lost 500 feet right there recovering in the traditional method. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up and I'll demonstrate the Vichard method. Each recovery technique has its time and place. If you have altitude, I would always go with the traditional, build airspeed. If you have altitude to play with, then you get into vortex ring state, then just build airspeed to get out of it. The problem is, is some of those guys, some of those pilots due to the nature of, of their work, are hovering in kind of in the uh, with the height velocity diagram, the dead man's curve there, where they don't have altitude. And, be, and that's because of the nature of their job. They're hovering at 200 feet, doing line work, or they're doing whatever, hovering at 200 feet where, you know what, I just lost 500 feet recovering there. Well, at 200 feet, obviously I don't have 500 feet to recover from. So, they may want to look at the Vichard method, okay? In this aircraft, in the G2, due to the count or to the clockwise rotating system, the Vichard method, I'm going to raise collective, the recovery technique, the corrective action is I'm going to raise collective as I'm adding right pedal, and then I'm going to sidestep to the left. I'm going to actually put cyclic input to the left, and I'm going to sidestep. Now it's just not a little push of the left cyclic, it's a good input of left cyclic to get out of that. What you're doing is you want to get rid of, get out of that downward column of air and completely get out of that so your rotors are in that nice, clean, undisturbed air. The good thing about the Vichard method is that you don't lose a lot of altitude. You may lose only 50 to 100 feet or even less depending on how fast you set it up or how fast you recover from it. One downfall about the Vichard method is since you are sidestepping in one direction, you better be aware of what's on your side that you're sidestepping to. So those guys working on power lines or towers or whatever, if they need to sidestep, they really need to make sure that there's no obstacle to your side, to that side. So in the clockwise rotating system like the G2, we're sidestepping to the left. In the counterclockwise, Enstrom's, Bell's, MD's, they're gonna be sidestepping to the right. Miles. All right, so here we are holding, we're about 2,000 feet here. So in order to kind of simulate this, I'm gonna put us down on, push down a little bit on collective. Now again, to recover from this, I am gonna raise collective, add right pedal, and then a good input on left cyclic. We're at 2,000 feet indicated, that's about 1,200 feet off the ground here in Indiana. I'm into the wind, I'm setting us up for out of ground effect hover here, at a little bit of airspeed still. All right, so we'll be at 1,900, that's where we're gonna be, and that's where we're gonna start. All right, trim string is dead. Ground speed is about six knots, pretty darn close to zero. All right, so I'm just gonna lower collective a little bit, kind of simulate us getting into vortex ring state. There's 500 foot descent rate, there's our vibration. I'm coming up, right, and then left pedal to get out of it. 
out of that call. And again, you're losing about 50 to 100 feet. As a recap, I think there's a time and place for each for each maneuver. The traditional method, if you have altitude, just push the nose forward, build that airspeed, and then get out of it. If you don't have altitude to play with, then the Vichard method might be the recovery technique that you want. However, just be aware of what you're sidestepping into. Make sure there's no obstacles to your left or right side, whichever side you're stepping into. And there you go. Awesome. What do you think? People are really enjoying the Cabri videos, so subscribe to the channel. Click the bell when you do so you'll be notified of our other new videos coming out. Comment below, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.